So here's the plan we had for our catapult. We got inspiration from pictures online and kind of drew from there. And then we started building it and we had, we helped my mom cut some of the wood in my garage. And then we built some more. Then we had pieces drawn out so that we could cut the wood right. And we were down in the garage. We'd both draw um, the pieces that we needed to cut and then we drill them together. So the history of the catapult, basically in, many, in the Middle Ages, people used siege weapons to attack other castles and a lot of those types were catapults. The first one is the ballista. It's basically a big crossbow and it's torsion powered, which is pretty much elastics that launched whatever they wanted to to the castle. The, se <laughs> the second is the mangonel, and that one was also torsion powered, but it could also be elastic, depending on what supplies they had with them. Um, so next is the onager. It is, it has a sling, it's a lot like a trebuchet, but an onager is torsion powered as well and uh, on trebuchet is powered by a counterweight. Um, it's a counterweight just causes it <laughs> to be thrown the other way. Okay, and so energy was transferred in catapults with the elastics or the springs or whatever they had with them. And so the tension would be stored in the elastics and it would pull the arm when they cut the rope and the energy would then be transferred to whatever projectile they were using. Many of the projectiles included fire, stones, sharp sticks or darts, or dead bodies, dead animals, body parts, etc.